down to a few pounds. I think I lost 100 pounds and I was sick for some reason. And then uh, during the sacred assembly, I was uh, a lot lighter. And during this time, uh, to, we were talking about healing and reconciliation. And this, this woman came and spoke to me. And she said, I have a, I have a dream. I had a dream, which, which I believe is meant for you. And, and the dream was that, that he said that he was dreaming about an eagle. When an eagle is ready to die, an eagle flies to the highest point, the place maybe in the mountain. And, and the eagle flies there and when the eagle lands there, it begins to move to beat its wings against the rock. The feathers fall out. And then it begins to smash its bill, its beak against the wall. And then its talons, its claws against the rock. And pretty soon the eagle is laying there. It's no longer, no longer looks like a bird. A majestic bird that once flew high in the sky and, and amongst the hills and mountains, this bird. And she said this eagle was laying there in the morning the sun came and the eagle began to grow its wings when its sun rose, when it shone on it. It had renewed its feathers, its beak and its Talons. And, and, and then what she said to me, she said, Elijah, you were to fly again. He said, because your strength and courage is your wings, and your beak is your, 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 your ability to speak, and, uh, and the talons. Is, is, is your courage and also to, for your protection. And he said, you'll come out of this, you'll be healed. And, and I've been healed. And I believe that the story that I tell, I'm telling you is the same that every, every one of us have to go through, through this transformation, shedding of yourself of many things that you have, that you will fly again like the eagles that are flying today and freely, and that you will be truly healed. And I believe this is a first step in acknowledging of that process with the uh, with the monuments that are going to be, uh, I guess, opened up later on, and uh, the community here is will have to support each other in this process of of healing, and uh, I'm sure you will do well, and uh, I wanted to just to say those few words, and I don't have a lot of time to, to talk, but I thank Joe Muskokamon for inviting me here to, to speak to you uh, about this uh, residential school, and I'd like to thank the MC for a great job she's doing. Thank you, miigwech.